Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Sky Factory 3. How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. I am smiling. I hope you can hear it because is this the derpiest thing you've ever seen? This mod, the googly eyes mod, look at that. That's just derpy. Anyway, I can't help but smile when I see that, but we are not going to be looking at that forever. We're going to turn around here and we're going to take a look at what has been done since the last time we were together, and I'm sorry, it has been a while. It has been a while. I've gone a couple weeks without a video on the channel. The reason why, well, it's not entirely germane, but uh, hey, work has been getting in the way. If you follow me on Twitter, you will have seen the updates for that, but uh, things are busy at work right now. We're, we've gotten a lot of deadlines come in, some fires that needed to be fighting, you know, and it's the thing about customers, can't live with them, can't live without them. So you got to keep them happy. And when they're not happy, well, you need to make sure that they get happy as soon as possible. So that's what I've been doing the past couple of weeks, just taking care of some necessary things. So because of that, we have not actually been in Sky Factory, haven't done a stream, haven't done a video, and haven't actually been in the map for a little while. So it's probably time to take a look at what we've done since the last time we're together. So up here, a little bit, a little bit, we've gotten one of these rain shield things out of one of those loot bags. I've also planted some cactus. So there we go. And if you look over here, we've got a storage crate. This is from the Actually Editions mod. I was looking to this to kind of reduce my dependence on double chests. We were getting chests upon chests up here, and so I decided let's go with a storage crate. The problem is I don't know how to move this thing now. This platform, this original platform that we started in, is not a permanent place. The only one we're going to keep permanent, the only part we're going to keep permanently, is the original spawn point right there. We're going to make a memorial to our start here, but everything else is going to go away. We're going to be removing this and moving that down to the bottom layer and just all of this, all of it going to move. So that means I have to move a storage crate. I don't know how to move a storage crate. So if you know, let me know. I might know by the end of this video. We're recording this before time for a, what's the word, a stream. And, and then we'll get some work done on stream. But what I wanted to do is show you real quick some of the things that have changed since we were last together. Over here, I have increased to a double chest and I've been getting some other animals in here. Well, we got a couple of pigs, got a bone white chicken, a couple of sheep, a rabbit. Yeah, a couple of pigs there. It's good. I, the cow is in that one. Rooster. Okay, so two cows, two pigs couple of chickens, a couple of roosters. It's a lot of pigs. We got a pig there. Pig there. Pig there. We don't need three pigs. No. No, no, no. Let's do that. And go die, pig. He's still running. Die. Thank you. And there's another bone white chicken. And a regular chicken and a regular chicken. We've got regular chickens in here. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Rooster, a couple of roosters. We don't need multiple of the same kind. So, there we go. And then, you guys. Okay, and then we've already had a bone white chicken. And then, you. Bye-bye. Log chickens? I don't mind. I like log chickens because it means I don't have to do the twerking on the trees anymore. Let's just do that. We'll just put these animal nets in here like so. And Bob's your uncle. I have a bed, not a bed. Hmm. I don't know why I have that actually. So let's go over here and check in all that stuff. Yep. There we go. All right. So the other things that have changed since the last time we were together. So we took care of adding a blast furnace and coke oven last time. And then uh, I decided to use the coke oven some more and I ended up filling up a couple of these fluid tanks. So I decided to go ahead and make a reinforced large drum. We're up to 80,000 
what is that, 80,000 millibuckets, so 80 buckets in there now, which is a good thing. And over here, our power production has been continuing. I switched over to a storage crate here, and I moved all of the ores from up top down to here. And if you take a look over here, we've got an auto compressed hammer, a couple of those going, and a couple of heavy sieves, neither of which are running right now. They have been running, but apparently they've run out of stuff to do. That's fine. How about this? Sand. What do I want to do with that? Gravel? Maybe. Let's, let's get that thing running on gravel again. Okay, we'll do that. And we'll just run all this gravel, compressed gravel, into our auto-compressed hammer. Yeah. And then over here, we've got... That one's got a diamond sieve in it, and this one has our diamond mesh. This one kind of, it's got a flint stiffened mesh. And what I want to see is which one gets me redstone. I need a bunch of redstone. And we're going to go over here. No, not the squeezer. Heavy sieve. Dust. Okay, so dust on an iron stiffened mesh, diamond stiffened mesh. Okay. Excellent. So we can run, we'll eventually run all that sand back into the hammer. Maybe we'll get some more cobble going. Yeah, that'd be good. So over here. Now I'm just doing this along with you. I'm sorry for that, but I wanted to show you a little bit about what's been going on since the last time we we're together. I also got a loot recycler. So when I start, um, auto processing loot bags, anything that is extra that I don't really need, I can just chuck back into a loot recycler and get more loot bags out of it. How awesome is that? So that's coming up, but uh, I do have some auto ore processing going. This is a good thing. It's a very good thing. Also over here, remember the last time we put together that kitchen sink and got an automated way of filling a wooden barrel? Well, an automated way of generating fire water as well so this thing is making more fire water which we will use to expand our lava production over here and i saw something neat on the reddit the feed the beast subreddit that i'm going to try out on stream so hopefully you're able to catch that anyway we have talked on long enough not seven minutes almost eight minutes now and it is time for the stream so i just wanted to bring you along show you what was changed since the last time and then We'll come back after the stream and show what we managed to get done on stream. All right. So I will be back in just a little bit for you and a couple hours for me. All right. See you then. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We just concluded the stream. It, uh, well, it was quite short for you, but we got a lot done in that stream. So let's get ready to turn around here. Boom. Okay. What do you think? May not seem like much to you. First things first. Last time I said I was going to keep the coal coke or coke furnace or coke. What, what is that thing? Um, coke oven and the blast furnace over in this chunk. I decided against that. This is going to be the power generation chunk. This is going to be the ore processing chunk eventually. For now, um, we're going to we're leaving ore processing over here and then I went ahead and moved these two immersive engineering multi-blocks over to this chunk so we can make room for something I saw on Reddit. And that's right, on Reddit, of all things. Um, I saw an interesting power generation idea, and I wanted to try this out. And, and so that's what we worked on. I went and made a bunch of rice slime balls and we made a bunch of magma blocks and we've got this thing where we've got a stone barrel in the middle of, well, there's 25 magma blocks on the bottom and 24 here on the top. And I've added an extra five up top. I don't know if those are doing anything, but there is an area of effect that increases the efficiency of the conversion to fire water. So you notice how quickly that's transforming the water. Yeah, that's going pretty quick. And I didn't realize this. I thought fire water was just going to be useful for creating lava. But no, it's actually an Ender IO fuel for the combustion generator. So 
Wow. What I'm doing is I'm loading up the fire water into a, into each of these combustion generators and also filling them with this sink from cooking for blockheads. So the sink is filling up this stone barrel, but it's also filling up the combustion generator fuel, uh, the coolant here. Uh, the combustion generator needs a coolant for whatever fuel you throw in there. And then it generates RF. And so that one stone barrel is generating enough fire water to keep all of these combustion generators going. We've got a bank of 20, and they're each generating 80 RF a tick, which means we are generating on the order of 1600 RF a tick. What does that mean? Well, that means that we actually have hit a new milestone. So let's go upstairs and take a look at our achievement book and see what we can check off here. It's in here. Achievement book, get. Okay, let's go through real quick. We've done all that, done all that. Okay, capture a calendar jar. We have not done that yet. Make a matic from Tinker's Construct. Okay, nothing, nothing here yet. Okay, we haven't done the Age of Farming. No, I haven't finished that. I haven't done Mystical yet. Have not done flying or traveling to the nether. Okay, nothing here. But Age of Machines. We've automated turning cobblestone into gravel. With We've got both a sag mill and an auto hammer. Okay. We've used energy conduits to power several machines at month, once. Good. Haven't quite done automated loot bag creation, opening, and compression. We will be working on that coming up. Uh, automate storage of ore pieces, chunks from an automatic sieve. Um... Storage of ore pieces, chunks. I'm not going to consider that one yet because we aren't crafting the pieces into chunks yet, but we've, we're have we almost there. And then uh, nothing from the Age of Power, but we are producing now over a thousand R of a tick. So that's the big achievement there. Anything here? We've leveled up a Tinker's Tool. Had a diamond hammer? No, I haven't done that. And we're still, we don't quite have a melee weapon that does 20 damage. Uh, nothing from that one. No, 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 no. Obtain a dimlet parcel from an enderman. Okay, we have done that. But for the most part, no. Okay, I think we're, we're doing pretty good. Let's take a look here. Attack is six. That is horrible. So we've, we've got some work to do on that, but we've gotten, uh, well, not too shabby, not too shabby at all. We've got 1600 RF a tick coming in. And once this vibrant capacitor bank fills up, well, these things will stop. So, cause we're not using 1600 RF a tick. We're, we're creating it. We're not using it. Even over here, we're barely touching the surface of, of this. See, we're full. Full on all four of those, plus this other one over here. Let me slow down a little bit, not throw as much much movement into the thing. We've got a million RF stored here, 400,000 stored right there, and we're working towards 25 million RF stored here. We're not doing too bad, but um, anyway, I just wanted to show you that. That's what we worked on in stream, so not too bad, not too bad. And this this will help us. Here in the start, we're kind of progressing from early game to mid game. And this is a good start, I, I would dare say. And maybe we can get another one of these generator blocks going. But we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'm pleased. And hopefully, hopefully, um, maybe that inspired you to do your own type of power generation instead of going with the standard lava generation. But I'm pleased with that. We're going to take a not so sneaky screenshot. And that's going to be for our thumbnail. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about hitting the subscribe button down below so you're up to date on everything going on on the channel. Also, think about going over to beam.pro slash mcsoapthegreat, hitting that follow button so you know when I am going to be going online for a stream. Tuesdays and Thursdays, usually 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, watch me on watch for me on Twitter. Watch the notifications there for if I will be able to stream that evening. Some standard caveats that apply for that. Work, family, come first. So uh, that's that. Anyway, 
Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.